hear something creepy. What, you mean there's disgusting noises coming from the unidentifiable orifices of the freak being up ahead? Dun dun dun! I told you don't have to say dun dun dun. But it feels so right. This may be a stupid question, but which way is it facing? It's a yeah, I think that's fine. No, that's an eye. That thing's... I don't know what that thing is. So heavy. Can't hold up much longer. Maybe. I don't know anymore. It looks like that eye has teeth. The important thing is that we're getting a chance of a preemptive strike. Let's kill it now. My muscles giving out. But what if it's a one-of-a-kind creature? Then we'll be doing the universe a favor. Why not make it bleed? If it doesn't do that, at least make it thin and spatially. <laughs> now that's a shame. Kill me. Well, it's up to us now. You don't seriously want to fight that thing, do you? We might have to, you know, touch you. Fight it, can't breathe. Need air to live. We could just hide here behind the armoire so it's out of the way. I'm okay with that. Three. Don't you think we should help, fighter? He appears to be in pain. I'm okay with that. Two. On a completely unrelated note, I wonder when three will turn like normal. One. We thought you was a toad. Better, but why are you whispering? Zero. Because that monster over there is really gross and we don't want to have to touch it. Now shut up before it notices us and get off me before you start going through my pockets. What are you so worried about? You've only got some moldy spell components and old gum wraps, eh? How do you. Ah! Oh. I ain't touching it. Me neither. No chance. You only have to touch it to zap it, you know. to look at it, and that's just as bad. Meanwhile, not too far away. Oh, for the love of. We'll never save the world at this, right? What? You can't tell me that the creep is too gross just to look at it to cast a spell and make it dead. You want to blast it back to the floor bit here, and you did it. I don't know about that. It looks like they're going to take action. Maybe I will. Fine, you do. Okay, I will. Good. Hey, at least they're not attacking each other now. I think that's a sign of some real progress. Just sneak over there and take care of that thing so they can get back to the mission. Right. Her. Black Belt. The monster is this way? Well, obviously. Time to take the trash. Yar! No, you're stupid. No, you're stupid. You're stupid. <laughs> what the hell was that noise? I think it was Black Belt. Bye bye. That means White Mage is near. Wanna go back to my place and peruse my scrolls? Wanna drop dead? Dang, even in my imagination, she's too smart and my slip pick up lines. Do you guys hear? I'm not sure. It sounds like whimpering and pleading and begging like you must have. Help! Please help! I can't believe he's trying to rip its innards out! I know, it's disgusting as soon as nothing to me, so I dove in it! You can still hear it cry. Help me! Can't that idiot do anything right? My rear's headband, this thing smells even worse than it looks! Damn it, I lost my watch! Well, now that Black Belt's here, it's just a matter of time before that hideous beast monster is taken care of. Meanwhile, we should help find her. What the? Who are you? I'm that voice inside your head that tells you what to do. You mean hunger? How long do you think he's just gonna stand there looking at his shoes? I say five minutes, Tom. No, you moron. I'm one of those voices that tells you what to do at an important moral crossroad. I'm going with Ted. Wanna make a bet? You're on. You're not hunger. Then why am I craving cheese? Stop thinking about food. <laughs> A decision of dire import looms over you at this very moment. This is not what I thought saving the world would be like. Come on, big cat, no fiber, no fiber! He can use a new pair of options. I don't mind telling you, this thing really stinks. I don't mind telling you, this thing really hurts. Alright, so what's this big important moral thing anyway? Fighter is trapped under his moronic armoire of invisibility. His life rests in your hands. There are but two options open to you. That's really good enough. I shall advocate that you simply let him rot under the thing's massive weight. Now shall. Aha! So you got my evil side, pretty much. So, where's my good side then? Well, the thing about that is, you know, it's all relative. Meaning? Meaning, technically, I am your good side, because that guy over there is your atrociously evil side. Destroy them! You are magic! You are change! You are the catalyst of all destruction! Life is death! Death is life! Manifest your will upon the tapestry of creation! End it now! That is hardcore. Yeah, you could say I'm the lesser of two evils. Literally. No, I don't think I will. Right, I'm just saying you could go at all. So let me get this straight. My choice is up. Let Fighter die, or let Fighter die and destroy all the reality in the meantime. Take your time. Go, Ten, go, Ten, go! I'm not a go, Ten, 
What? Um, go find, yay! That's a tough choice. We can capitalize. Four minutes, twenty seconds. Getting nervous? No, you. Me neither. You should be. You should be. That's it. What are you adults doing? You're just standing around while Black Belt is getting digested. I thought he was doing pretty good. Yeah. I can feel my arms. Well, he's not, and he could really use your help. So why don't you settle this insipid bet and start being heroes for once? Blah blah blah, moral outrage, blah blah blah, cold hearted, blah blah blah, blah blah blah. So what's this compromise, guys? I am tired of this inner monologue. George. Isn't this an inner dialogue? There is more than one of us, aren't there? Who the hell is that? Oh, that's just you and Spooky. He's supposed to double check what you're thinking, but when you say anything, so you don't have a jackass or moron. You usually don't pay any attention to him. That explains so much of my life. The main problem, White Mage, is that the creep monster is just way too gross for us to get within attacking range of it. Besides, according to a very reliable source, creeps are vulnerable to fire magic. I've only got ice, and you use white magic. Anyway, the compromise is a simple one. Play it on me. You ignore Fighter, and while we're waiting for him and the Black Belt tonight, you hit on White Mage. I like to get some of that compromise. Do it! I am. Do it! What, but if you shut up about it, I would! Maybe. Just maybe. If we all work together, we can defeat this creepin' creepy creep. Self-narrating back to consciousness. Awesome. It's been way more than five minutes. I won the bet. Yep. It's a shame you didn't bother to say what we were betting on. You win nothing. And something what now? Darn thief and his clever loopholes. Darn him. Okay, guys. If we work together, we can beat this thing. First, we'll have Fighter. Uh, where is Fighter? Uh, <coughs> well... The thing about that is... <laughs> Look at me, dancing on top of Fighter's grave. Come on everybody, do the Black Mage. Especially you, White Mage. Grrr! Get down from there at once. We've got to get Fighter out from under that thing. He could suffocate down there. And I think she's shaking with unhinged rage. Perhaps we should leap out of the way? Put your hand in the air like you just don't care. Fighter's dead. That's <laughs> a kill. Get it? No! O oh, great spirit of the divine, grant me the forgiveness that I, in my fleshy weakness, cannot grant, and thus must perpetrate this act of violence against my fellow man. Boy, oh, I'm sure glad we were nowhere near that. And how? Holy fire! Ouch. <laughs> Out of curiosity, how vulnerable is this creep being fire spells? Well, let's see, the book says, When ye attack ye the monster creep with thine spells of fire, yea, victory shall be on to thee post haste, but only do so at a considerable distance. Although distance wasn't considerable enough! Even dies with a gross sound effect. No! <laughs> On the bright side, the forest trees broke off all. Why did you have to say that? Well, how else were we supposed to get down? Ooh, he's down there. Uh, he's up there! What's wrong with you? Uh, I think I'm gonna be okay. You know what the best part is? I wanted it to happen. And then it did! Previously on 8 Bit Theater Chaos. Uh, I think I'm gonna be okay. You know what the best part is? I wanted it to happen. And then it did! how we can free Fighter from his armory prison. Behold! I will simply transfer all of my stat points into my int rating, invent and master of quantum mechanics, and then construct a device that will re-describe the armory's weight on a quantum level so we can move it off of Fighter. The experience gained from such a well for our plan would be astronomical. It's almost too easy. Yet another work of genius, by mate. You are a true asset to our cause. Darn that uncertainty principle. It always gets me lost. I would like to interject some constructive prudence in regards to some major plan for your heart. By all means! First, that I mean this in all sincerity, you are an idiot. This plan, much like all your other ones, is unnecessarily complex unto impossibility. In conclusion, your intellect is lacking and your personal hygiene is poor. I mean, hell, we could probably just tip the damn thing over and find a way to- Well, that was easy. Our last quantum mechanics plan alpha, the day was not ours. Ta-da! Uh, sorry about that hit, Black Mage. I'm already almost too. This one? Wait, wait, wait. How'd you get in there anyway? 
What do you mean? What I mean? I mean a big, heavy, damn chunk of furniture fell from a great height onto a cavernous skull. So, how did you get inside it? And more to the point, why aren't you dead? Well, of course I'm not dead. Don't you watch cartoons, BM? This sort of thing happens all the time. You realize that doesn't actually answer the question. No, but I think it does. Okay, but it really doesn't. Unless... Um, right. Fighter's overwhelming belief in the absurd laws that govern cartoon physics may have been so powerful that it influenced the quantum probability of his location so that he was inside the armoire once we observed him to still exist. Shredding a fighter, if you will. Exactly. That's the bomb of it was made out of cheap particle board. Then suddenly, and without any warning either, right in the middle of their really witty banter. I like stealing. I like healing. I like cooking. I like stats. I like evil. I like, um, what was it? Night Bell. I hate this joke. I suppose we should set up camp for the night. Good idea, White Mage. We'll need to set up a base camp. I think this clearer will be a good spot for a town hall. Black Belt, you're just chopping up wood, so you get to work harvesting lumber from the neighboring forest. Feet, you're into collecting gold, so you can hit the neighboring gold mine. Though I suspect doing so will artificially create a high upkeep situation, I'm sure his beefy's bead will make up for it. See, you've talked to Red Mage more than the rest of us. What the hell is he doing? It's like he's in another world. You may be more right than you know, Black Belt. White Mage, Black Mage, and Fighter, I want you three to team up on a barracks to the south. I'll barracks you to the south. See, Red Mage's mind is so full of information from his hundreds of reality handbooks that I think sometimes he gets his wires crossed. So he talks even stranger than normal, but I wonder what it's like to experience consciousness with the complaints of Defend the mighty barracks! I guess we'll never know. Never you mind what it means. We finally got the tent up. <laughs> tent? Don't you mean barracks? No, I'm pretty sure it's just a tent. A barracks would probably be a much larger, more permanent structure. Why do I even try to share my fabulous group with you? What's going on here? Not again. Well, we finished the building, your alleged barracks. That was yesterday. What have you done for me today? Yesterday? That was like five minutes ago. You've been idle for five minutes? Do you have any idea how far behind that puts us? <laughs> no, no. We're defenseless. We could be wiped out by a horde of orcs or a legion of undead. Or terror of terrors, a legion of hordes of undead orcs. And it'll be your fault. So what are you gonna do? Well... Blah blah blah, black mage, blah blah blah, stabby blah blah, I would never date a horrible, violent, living incarnation of evil. Damn it, she's right. Uh, let us discuss our plan and the safety of the tent. Barracks. Whatever. Why do I have to face the other way for you to explain the plan? Trust me. It's so good to see them getting along. Isn't it? Twenty minutes later. So why do we have to set up this other tent? The first one got... Not good. Nineteen minutes ago. Did, did it, did it. Hey, White Mage. Oh yeah, I think she made it cleaner. Sixteen minutes ago. Stupid White Mage making me do stuff I don't wanna. That can't be why we had to part this tent. Look, the point is that we have to get a second tent up. You don't have to worry about who propositioned who for Hot Mage love. Ten minutes ago. Not even if it's the cure for cancer. One way to find out. I'm going to have my own tent. Only one way, maybe. My own tent. Well, I guess we ought to tell White Mage that her tent is finished and then retire to ours. That's a great idea if you ignore the fact that our tent still needs of industrial strength and clean. We could tell a story to pass the time until your tent de -stinkifies. It's a fun group activity. You get a group together and each person makes a part of the story. We used to do it all the time at my temple. Would that be before or after the Mighty Lord Dracula? <laughs> hey -ya! That's quite a rigorous practice session, Black Belt. Practice magic. There's a gnat buzzing near my ear. I hate that. Ah, uh, here I thought you were busy honing your mind and body into perfect harmony. What? Why would I do that? Oh, uh, well, I thought that's what martial artists did. You forsake melee weapons and constantly strive to transform your own body into perfect weapon. This process often involves a training regime meant to unlock nine simple powers within the practitioner. Well, now, that's certainly an interesting approach, but that can buy, Dojo. They just taught us to beat our opponents senseless. The prevailing theory of the school was that an opponent who was too broken to move was an opponent who was defeated. That's like a reasonable theory, I guess. So is being able to break a man's lid in two places before he hits the ground. HA! So you're a brutally efficient hand-hand fighter? Tell me, you don't happen to have any sort of heightened senses, do you? 
know, the kind of way you would know if someone was sneaking up on you from the shadows. Nope. Why? Hmm. No reason. Anyway, White Mage wants us all back at the council and sort of put it back to you think. Okay. What are you writing? Nothing. I don't have some ending sheets. Now that everyone's here and brought back from the brink of stab to death. Thanks! We can begin. Fighter, why don't you start? Oh, goody! God. Imagine if you can, an epic world wherein heroes dwell. And good thing too, because man is their evil afoot in his land. It's not even safe to go to the sword shop. You know these heroes? They are the Valiant Knight, the Arcane Master, the Trickster Rogue, the Cunning Cavalier, the Caring Healer, and the Brave Warrior. They must band together and rid the world of an evil scourge, one that threatens to destroy and corrupt all that has been achieved by the kingdoms of man. I'm the evil scourge! I'm a dragon! Yah! And then... Black Mage, you're next. Yeah, okay, so then the wizard guy who was the most powerful and best looking wizard in all creation who didn't have any kind of hygiene problems got tired of being held back by the incompetence of the stupid, very ugly compatriots. You're dreaming. I know. So on their first night together, he cast a low level fire spell inside the lungs of the other adventurers, instantly suffocating and cooking them to the inside while they slept. Then, with the help of some basic necromancy spells, he fashioned their charred remains into an undead suit of armor that would fight for him on his quest straight to the evil Scurgy Dragon, where he then delivered the corpses, demand control over half the world, and trick the dragon into stepping onto that half, so he could then possess the dragon's great powers, as well as usher in a new era of darkness and suffering, etc., etc. The end. Sleep well, guys. I'm scared. Can't you do anything not evil? I could try. Sometimes I think that maybe for the love of the right woman, I could do it. You know, the kind of woman that would make me not evil. But then I think that she'd probably want to talk to me afterwards and wants to put up with that. Ah! Thanks for standing guard at the edge of that, though. No problem. That's what I'm here for. I just know that little idiot will try something and I'm not in the mood for it. It's almost as if he's not a light warrior at all. It does seem that way sometimes, doesn't it? What with the rampant evil and the inclination toward brutal violence? And the others aren't exactly as heroic as one would expect. Thief would sooner steal from charity than lift a finger to save the world. Fighter seems nice, but he's a complete idiot. And Red Mage is as bad as Thief in his ways. But they must be the right words. Who else would be? Meanwhile... I hate my life. This bad fight are coming out of your check, Mr. Ninja. I suppose we must accept that fate works in serious ways. And I do thank you, Black Belt. You are obligated to be my bodyguard, and nothing more. Yet you have been a true friend to me. Your company is perhaps all that has kept me sane. I'm sorry, where was I, Black Belt? You thank you very much, Black Belt Sarah. She's totally falling for it. I know I will regret it, but nevertheless, I must look. Me so hungry. Find Don for soup. What are you doing? What made you think this was a good idea? For God's sake, you've still got your mage hat on! You didn't think I would notice? Uh, I was hoping. And what have you done with Black Belt? You want how much for a pair of robes? I'll never pay! Oh, but I think you will. And why? Why would you use that atrociously offensive accent? Black Belt isn't Asian! And even if he was, they don't talk like that! Oh, me so sorry. Don't judge! It's cold out here! How were you able to take Black Belt out? You're giving me the secret of defeating Black Belt for just half of my share of the treasure we'll find on a quest. Sign me up. And just where did you get that inane idea that you could disguise yourself as him? You're giving me the secret of winning White Mage's half for just half of my share of the treasure we'll find. Done and double done. To sign on the dotted line, one under it, and one under that one. Done. And initial it at the bottom, and then at the top. In that order. No problem. And then full by the secret. Beat your I feel it necessary to inform you that the contract gives me all the rights to the bottom part. Top, bottom, what do I care? Well, it's just that I'd have to go through the top half to get to the bottom part, isn't it? I do happen to have first rights to any treasure I see, so I'll acquire your leftover parts on the way to my heart. What do you think? I didn't quite catch that. Just speaking of kind of things, don't worry about it. Look, the point is that I'm here, it's night time, and we're in your tent. So let's get wacky. Wacky with love, that is. No. Ruffle Stompers, I am Black Belt. Okay, that's not there. And if they don't fight, then that means more experience for me. Suckers. I went. I know. Whiff. Whiff. Whiff.
<laughs> like a quiff, but a Megan Monkey, quiff. Monkey, you're going to go. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so they don't so that way. <laughs> if they don't, yeah, I do kind of go <laughs> yeah, yeah, anyway. I don't go yeah, me anyway. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to do the king's lines anyways, because I'm a bastard. <laughs> Why, with your orbs of light? Wait a minute. Oh, why your orbs and light aren't even low core with density? I demand that your charlatan. Wait. I demand that you charlatans leave my chambers immediately. <laughs> 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 Unless you already did that line, but fuck it. Right, okay. Stupid ego raptor. So we can see the world! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> and that's how you say the work, yeah. obviously. Let's ride with the moon right now. If you say so. If you say so. If you say so. <laughs> no, 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 no. You're supposed to open this whole attack. No. <laughs> <laughs> so hard you can just sell. <laughs> no! <laughs> 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 See? See? Ah, oh, Garland is going through puberty! Oh, I'm gonna have to do a yarg- YARG- I'm not even sure what to do there. Completely wrong. That's the most good until then. No, I showed you time you can. He's going to Alright, ready? One, two, three. He's going to charge you Yeah. Well, this is where their trail ends. Where could they have gotten off to? Gotten off, you get it? Where could they have gotten off to? <laughs> so you see, by allowing me to kill you, you wind giant's forest. <laughs> <laughs> Back to the very beginning. Very <laughs> British angry man. Yeah, that's the it works. Speaking from a purely philosophical. Speaking from a. Speaking from a purely philosophical Speaking from a purely philosophical perspective, we're not lost so much as spatially displaced. You failed us, we didn't you? Big time. It's funny because philosophy is actually my minor. This is the best plan you could come up with, even after your alleged boost in intelligence. Intelligence? I'll just open up the old screw here and build the screw. This is the architecture of insanity, the towers of madness. Madness. This. Okay. Snap out of it, you fool. You're in the middle of a life or, live or death. You're in the middle of an Iron Maiden album situation. Whoa! <laughs> look, this isn't as easy as I make it look, you know. It's not like this is some ordinary run of the. <laughs> Otherwise, white mage fight. Otherwise, white mage fight. Otherwise, white mage fight. Outtakes for the win. There's no telling what sort of impact an act of incredible incompetence on Black Belt Prime's part. Black Belt Prime. <laughs> Black Belt Prime should be like Prime. <laughs> yes, it is. No, the smell of not having to lug that damn heavy bad gum drink. Yeah. That's a good thing. Yeah. 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 Oh, that's a good thing. Lug <laughs> down heavy bad guns around. <laughs> <laughs> Is there like a bathroom or something? I need to clean up. Thanks, white mage. Be back soon. Dude, I'm going to clean up. Can you clean up? Yo! We must now go out every room, mate. I am white mage, bot. Heal, heal. Come on. Well, red mage and thieves are different. Disposing. <laughs> what? I don't know. Yeah, I can't new speak. Word. <laughs> yeah, I'm doing a lot. To wit, it is my sincere belief that the looting. Nah. 
Right, let's <laughs> I want to loot the flag with the blue. We found a dilly and a pickle of a sneeze! <laughs> it's quite simple, really. Fighter Thief and I were going to pillage any goods, valuable swords, or stat booting us. I don't even know where I got that type from. <laughs> Spit all over the screen. See how hard I have to shake to get it off. Another get it off. Since he was a boss character after all, it's not unusual to expect they might have been holding something that could have proven useful to our quest. I really wanted to burst into song halfway through that. Not unusual to find something that's happened on our quest. <laughs> Basically, since Garland seems to be the main villain, he has a certain. <laughs> yeah, since Garland seems to be the. No. No, he's not! He's <laughs> so dizzy! So, so everything that's small is cute, right? Yes. <laughs> yeah! You guys are special. Because we are. Yes. It's like I just like. The, no, it's not. I can't. I can't. I can't. <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah. Who <laughs> stab it in the eye? I probably would, though. Um, no, it's, it's a little one where it gets the chibi, like, happy face. Okay, the big speech to make. And that one's make sure. Well, I will. That's only cute because it's bouncing. Right? Yeah. Um. <laughs> Things on, like, a 35 degree angle are always cute. <laughs> it's bouncing. Oh, sweet. Man, that was good. Agony slap book pal slip. Heck no. He's gone. Sure, but what are you writing now? <laughs> <laughs> Just trying to make it easier. Yeah. <laughs> sorry about waiting for instruction. Did you say sorry about waiting for instruction? Waiting for instruction. Sorry about waiting for instruction. Let's let bygones be amnesia in the lab. Amnesia in the face. Amnesia in the face. Because that needs to be what we double. I don't know. Character nude. That rat nude. That's also a quite interesting nude. Yeah, that's an important version. It's not my fault this castle is built out of insanity. It's not my fault this castle is built out of insanity. It's not castle fault insanity built out of. Remember, remember kids, with great power comes your. Remember, kids, with great power comes great applause. <laughs> and that. Remember, kids. Remember, kids. Remember, kids. <laughs> Actually, funnily enough, we've been I locked do. in here for so long. We doing have. No, I don't remember, kids. Anymore. <laughs> no, I, like my whole childhood is just gone. Fudge. He said, "Remember, because great fudge. Great power comes great fudge." <laughs> I thought that was brilliant. <laughs> No, I don't want to make fun. <laughs> Probably the best super bar ever. <laughs> hey, you want to punch? <laughs> you there, stop! Have punch! It's a dead air! Great punch! <laughs> Remember, kids, with great power comes great punch. <laughs> Remember, kids, with great power comes great opportunity to abuse that power. <laughs> to abuse that power. <laughs> to abuse that power. Yeah, that's right, you abuse that power. <laughs> oh, God. How am I supposed to do that? You're a thief. Use your high charisma score to wow him with your wit. Or oh, you know, just get your penis out. I don't know. <laughs> hey, look! I'm a sniper. Get your penis out. <laughs> I'm so pretty. I'm so pretty. Pretty and witty and I think I read them too fast and then my brain can't compute what the mouse is going to say. I find that all the time when yeah. I'm a massive round. You know, I go, A, I'll do this fast because it's funny. Yeah. B, I'll do it fast because I can't talk so long. <laughs> C, I have to strap it into the episode somehow. So I like read it and my brain is behind my mouth. <laughs> yeah. I'm reading the words with my brain. Seconds after I've said them, <laughs> and oh my god, I'm going to get a bit of crash boom. <laughs> I'm going to hit a brick wall soon enough. And you get there and go, Woo! That's brilliant! Sometimes I think that I should read when I'm doing my lines! <laughs> Maybe! 
Ez már az meg jó, woefully akkor el tetszik, hogy csak az Enterprise. Our scouts and the rangers hired from the other lands have been scouting the courtyard. The court. Fuck. 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 All right, I'm doing this one more time. Here we go. That's right. I'm doing a British accent to people who are British. That's right. Or maybe I'll try. I'm not sure what accent this accent is. Oh, I'm kidding. Just a little regal humor. Regal. Kind of sounds gross. Whatever. Oh, I'm kidding. Just a little regal humor for you there. Now. No, I have a guy. Again. Stop with your head! Help. Again. I'm saying help again. Fine. Help! Help! Why did you say help? Help. Again. So, you know, people are gonna come over and like, are you okay? You've, you've like screamed help eight times. Get eaten by a... Huh. Get eaten by a giant pie must be must Huh. Get eaten by a giant pie monster must be one of the most gruesome fates we've got. Fuck! Getting eaten by a giant pom- 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 Yes, giant bomb. You can read my mind? No. Shit. <laughs> <laughs> so, now that we're not dead, it sounds like we were dead to begin with. <laughs> the answer, I believe, is clear. The giant beat us within an inch of our lives, and now I should sit down and read it properly. <laughs> 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 but wait, this looks like more than a massive cock up. <laughs> <laughs> Sounds like one day. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I just want to go home. I just want to go home. I'm a whiny little brat. Hooray, whiny little brat, whiny, whiny, whiny. Whiny. Okay. Well, now what should you do? <laughs> Why is it always red maze that gets tortured like this? I like red maze. I like me. I like you. Yeah, but black maze is my red maze. Now what are you gonna do? Yeah! It's the critic. Right. Can I get off again? Yeah. I'm probably trying to turn off again. He took his ball and something in there, 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 that'll do. And... No? Oh, that's not like one of the many. No? Nothing of that's in the room! Are you the Arnia or the Pokemon Arnia? The Pokemon Arnia? However, I do have a quick... Blah, 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 blah. Because I'd hate to have poisoned our future dealings. I just like snotted all over my computer. <laughs> oh man, allergies are fun. Wow. I'm hot, I really am, I swear. I'm not a, I'm not a geek. Never should. And alas, it is the secret private agony of all who min max. We bear the we bear. <laughs> <laughs> what? You mean those disgusting noises coming from the unidentified world? <laughs> Try again all this, didn't I mean, there's disgusting noises coming from the unidentifiable of the orifice. Oh, 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 <laughs> <coughs> what? You mean there's disgusting noises coming from the unidentifiable orifice? Oh, 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 I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know shit. I don't know about that. It looks like they're going to take action. Well, obviously. Well, obviously. My voice gets deeper as the comic progresses. Well, obviously. <laughs> Alright, 
I think it was, uh, what was that noise? I think it was black bar, black bar. Is that being white mage in there? Wanna go back to my place and peruse my skull, my, my skulls? <laughs> <laughs> you know, look, dead people. <laughs> dead <laughs> I got them from Jack's discount skull thing with you. Anyway. I know, it's disgusting as soon as nothing to do, so he died in it. So he dove in it! 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 So he dove I don't mind telling you, this thing really stinks. I don't mind telling you, deeper voice means it's different. Uh, I don't mind telling you, a uh, robot, ah, uh, my god! I don't mind telling you, this thing really stinks. I thought it was doing pretty good. I can't feel my arms squack. <laughs> <laughs> it's like he's talking to someone called Squack. Oh, I got to put my arms, Squack! Oh no! <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what Squack told me. I don't know what it sounds like. Anyways. 28, my one line. Help. Help? Help? Did you guys forget about help? 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 That was yesterday. What have you done for me to tag? To tag? To tag? Maybe. I don't know anymore. It looks like that. Looks like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What I need, also known as, I get to do such a We can tell a story. Tell a story to pass the time until you're ten ten please stinkify and then you stand. Please stinkify. We can tell a story to pass the time until you're ten this time. Stinkify. 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 <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Well, I don't need this. <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> so you're a pretty efficient hunt hunt dog. Tell me, do you ever happen to have any sort of heightened senses? You? you know, the kind where you, you suck. <laughs> balls! Where's your balls? <laughs> I'm the evil scourge of a dragon yard! I'm the evil scourge of a dragon yard! Previously on 8 Bit Theater Chaos. And just where did you get that inane idea that you could disguise yourself as him? You'll give me the secret to winning White Mage's Heart, which is half a fighter's share of the treasure we'll find. Done and double done. Nathan and I need to have a serious discussion about the quality of his suck-ass products. Judging by your slanderous remarks, I assume that you'd like to have the rights to your shares without treasures back, hmm? Darn, Tilton. 
Not only did your plan for me to win one his heart fail, but it failed miserably. She hates me now, which, according to my babe dart, is the opposite of how she used to feel about me. The fact that you believe in something called babe dart alone leads me to conclude that it's always wrong. The point is that I am not satisfied with the product or service you provided me. Therefore, I am exercising my right as a consumer to return your wares for my money. It's in that contract you made me sign, so give me. No, I think not. Take a closer look at that contract. Now look closer. Closer. Closer still. What do you mean, this part here? Aha! Satisfaction guaranteed or your treasure back. Yes. Now really concentrate on that one. See that homeless dot of ink between satisfaction and guaranteed? Barely. What the... You magnificent bastard! I invented it. It's called Super Ultra Fine Print. I own the copyright. You owe me a quarter just for reading it. I hate you. All was well in the Night Warrior camp that night. Until... Gosh, I sure do hope those hapless passers-by are able to get my crystal ball back so I can see again. This whole blindness thing is a real pain. I can't even tell what kind of poison I gave them, or how much I used. Oh well, if they are the Light Warriors after all, then I guess they'll survive one way or another. There's nothing to worry about, really. The poison was diluted in a whole batch of cookies, so they ought to be fine regardless. <laughs> Unless, of course, I somehow managed to give them my Night Bane poison. Known as the most powerful, even deadly hallucinogenic compound in the entire world. In which case, they wretched souls. My, what a wonderful night's sleep. There's nothing quite like sleeping under the stars. Under the tent top. Oh, and I want to thank you for keeping warm. Think nothing of it, White Mage. It's part of the job. Hmm, it looks like we're the first ones up this morning. Do you think they ditched us? Not likely. Armoire is still here. I doubt quite would leave it. What work could they be? Elsewhere! Let us never speak of this again. Agreed. And so... Now for the love of evil, not this again. As team leader, I have to say I don't approve. Agreed. The armoire's massive encumbrance rating is fast becoming a major hindrance to our heroic travels. And that big unwieldy thing will no doubt interfere with my all-important flea ability. Plus, the quicker we travel, the less we have to deal with the nightmare poison. I'm sorry you feel that way, fellas, but I've been questing for the armoire of invincibility all my life. I'm not about to give it up now. Hold it. Where are where to begin? Oh, I know. First, we've only been on this quest of yours for like three days. Second, you were looking for the armoire of invincibility, not the armoire. You're obviously mistaken. I wouldn't be lugging around this impossibly heavy furniture if I hadn't been questing for it. I mean, jeez, I'm not stupid. It's furniture, not armor. It does not protect you. Ha! Shows what you know. Thanks to the armor, I haven't been hit by an enemy yet. That's because it crushed you to death before the monster could attack. I distinctly remember dancing on your grave. I'm afraid I don't follow. Then you must bleed. Wait! I have an even better solution. We don't have to carry that cumbersome armor around with us. Oh yes we do. I shall never go back now that I have tasted of sweet, sweet invincibility. Tastes like varnish. Not many people know that. Must destroy. And that's the beauty of this plan. You won't have to give up the armoires and the Am I the only one who can see it? It's not actually invincible. It's just really heavy. That's it. Only its incredible burden and spinal hazards. Interested? Spinal hazards are hazardous. Sure. We'll simply store the armoire inside an extra special object. I happen to have a hypercube in case of just such a necessity. Hold it. Again. Why are we even mentioning semi-regular polyhedrons of real space? I've got an 8 in super-dimensional physics. What's your excuse, hmm? I took a few summoning courses back in Black Mage College. Get this damn thing out of my hat. So I know a thing or two about accessing 16-bit dimensional planes. Then you're no stranger to this. Is that a summoning material? Yes, also known as a hypercube. Or a summoning cube among magical circles due to their extrapolation from the old-style summoning squares. What's all this cube talk? It's a ball, duh. Technically speaking, it's a high-dimensional cube that's distilled into our own 8-bit universe. It looks like a ball to us because we lack the 16-bit senses and spatial awareness to properly perceive its actual form. Well, yeah. Okay, so how is this summoning cube? You mean hypercube? You mean easily pulled valuable crystal OP? You mean super bouncy ball? Well, think about it. If an 8-bit super ball bounces really high, then a 16-bit one could probably go all Anyway, so how is this thing going to help with the armor? 
Mm, it's quite simple, really. We just put the hypercube into the armoire and let super dimensional physics take its course. I wouldn't suggest standing so close to the gravity reactions, but what are you laughing about? <laughs> Can we get back on track? We're still poison and Provoka isn't just around the corner. Yeah, sure, whatever you say. <coughs> yeah, let's go. Give me my hat back, you blasted theoretical space-time module. I need that plus three. Who's laughing now? Us. <laughs> <laughs> Luckily, Provoka wasn't much fun. So, we're headed to Provoka. And we're gonna fight some pirates, so you could say that will provoke them. That's provoke them. Get it? Provoke them? Provoke them? It's funny. See? Because when we fight them, they will be provoked. It just felt like a very, very long trip. It would be so easy to. As the Light Warriors neared the port town of Provoker, I wish to point out that I am adamantly opposed to the order in which we are walking. An evil force gathered on the horizon. Yar will be the hubbub of nonchalant glass. Conspiratorial check. I found a quarter. I'm not asking if it belongs to anyone. That's plain me, Yar. And ye bad guy voice sounds as vicious as the stormy sea, so says me. Hey, that right, Yar. Well, I don't like to brag, but I am a villain after all. I must admit, however, that until recently I wasn't very good at it. I was even defeated by a band of heroes. But since that day I have felt different. Almost as if I have been soaring with evil determination. Whoosh! It's like I'm at least twice as evil as I used to be. Twice as evil? From being defeated? And you're already up to petty theft. Yar. Yep. You're not human. You're a thing. They goo you in a lab. I'll not meddle in such wanton devilry and yar. The crew won't be your plaything. I will be paying you. Consider the lives of my crew to be forfeits. I'm sure it will come back. It will if I says it will. It's settled then. Me and me mateys will ambush these land level light warriors. And you'll be giving us the gold. Yar. You'll be rich and I'll be rid of those pesky heroes. They who have haunted me relentlessly across the Forsaken Realm. They who have been my most eternal foes for almost half a week. I shall revel in their horrible and very gruesome defeat. Yar! Let us celebrate our villainous business relationship with a round of ale! That may be easier said than done. Your pirates already pillaged this town for all it's worth. So, if Provoka be a ghost town because we stole everything, Yar! That means it's all back on my ship. I think I'll rename her the Barty Barge. We'll sail around the world, having misadventures tinged by slapstick and romance. Okay, but first let's take care of the Night Warriors. Alright, they be like a thorny thorn in your sidey side. Yar. Be making fun of me accent, Sunny Jim! Yar! Me... Uh, accent? Uh, accent? Well, what accent? I, I don't... I don't hear any accent. So, what do you guys say? There's only one ship at the docks. It bears the mark of the rat's galleons of the inner sea. I count nine pirates aboard. The nine of them versus the five of us. I like those odds. Fighter, like there's four of us. I like those odds. Okay, so there's a bunch of pirates, and we've got to get at that big, bad pirate captain, so we can get that witch, uh, Crystal Kingy back. Right. Therefore, what we must do is this. We shall outflank and beguile them with the brilliant strategy I am sketching into the sand at this moment. It will consist of a multi-pronged attack from all flanks, thus throwing them into a state of confusion and defeat. It shall be remembered as the Red Mage Maneuver. What are you talking about? There are a bunch of dogs on a boat. I could probably nuke them from here with a well aimed for dog. And if I was unlucky enough to survive the explosion, would drown in the mangled wreckage of the ship. Problem solved. Meanwhile, 
So the pirate says, It's driving me nuts! <laughs> <laughs> Laugh, damn ye! Don't you know hilarity when you seize it? Yar! Ha! Ha ha! Previously on 8 Bitter Chaos. Okay, so there's a bunch of pirates, and we've got to get at that big, bad pirate captain, so we can get that witch, uh, Chris Ophany back. Right! And whoosh! Someone explain to me why you didn't go with my Adorkin plan. It was not in our particular idiom. What, you meant it wasn't a guaranteed failure? I don't have to take that kind of abuse. Yes, you do. I fully understand your misgivings about the plan being, but trust me, it's truly for the good of the group. You just did that thing where you say something like, and my group only me, under your breath, didn't you? Hmm. Can you prove that I did? Uh, yes, no. And I suppose I didn't say that. I can only assume we're down here in Provoker because Thief wanted to pillage the town by me without the need to be sneaky. I take offence at your slanderous allegations, Pierre. Accurate though they may be. There! The bastard did it again! Didn't you hear him mumbling? No, I didn't hear anything. Hmm, nor I. <sighs> Let's just go, okay? I give up. That's more like it. I think that may just hear anything. He's probably suffering from insanity effects. Five minutes later! Where's Thief? He told us to split up and meet back here in five minutes. He could at least obey his own inane orders. Why did he insist that we separate, anyways? So, are you guys ready or what? Didn't the pirates take everything already? They left everything that was nailed down. I did not. Okay, I have diligently spent the last several moments forging a plan that will guarantee our victory. Ready? Drink! Drink? He's not calling us out for one. Shush. Pete, you will sneak aboard the pirate ship and steal all their weapons. I think I already did, but anyway, I'm on it. Fighter, you will slay them with your mighty Zodiac Kenshindo prowess. I like this plan. Black Mage, you provide heavenly artillery in the form of lightning while fighter slurs the stupid pirates. I admit I was skeptical of this plan before, but now it appeals to me for some reason. Okay, let's rock, baby. Hold up here, Captain Featherhat. Captain Featherhat? You shut up, Baker. All the classics. Anyway, what's Red Mage going to do? To answer your question, BM, I will fulfill the role most vital to our success today. I'll be... well, it's a, a little like civilizing, but completely different. I'll stay in the back where I can observe the battle from afar and give commands to you, my troops, which reflect the ever-changing face of war. I see. So you'll be supervising me. While that's certainly one interpretation of the job I described, it is not necessarily a valid one. Of course, in this case, it is. However, I maintain that it could have been otherwise if conditions were different. Let's just go and kill the pirates already. Here atop the port building is the ideal position to supervise from. Mages are not built for climbing. I am living proof. Alright team, are we ready? Yeah! Now go get those suckers! Uh, I appear to have been gone already. What? See for yourself. We're so powerful, just our battle cry killed them. Alright, what's going on here? Hmm, interesting, yes. Red Mage is checking her vital signs and Thief is helping him. Uh, yeah, I'm helping myself. I have come to a conclusion, fellow warriors of the light. Gather ye round. Thief, I said, gather ye round. Oh, yeah? Uh, right, okay. Um, right. But I'm, uh, still helping this guy. His capacity for charity is truly boundless. Indeed, we are lucky to have him on our team. Are you guys actually this stupid? I have determined that our pirate friends aren't dead. Dum dum dum. Stop that. Uh, they are suffering from severe scurvy. Scurvy, but how? We've been eating a balanced diet of nothing but Cheetos for the last three months. I think that explains it right there, buddy. Wait, why would you eat nothing but Cheetos for three months? To avoid getting scurvy, of course. We need vitamin C so we don't get scurvy. Well, oranges don't last too long in our lengthy voyages. So this one neutrinalist down at the port in the criminal city gave us a huge load of Cheetos. 
He said that teals are orange, so they're just as good for you as real oranges. Suckers. Dum -de -dum. Hey, he took my wallet! One more for good measure. See, you're still helping the poor, scurvy-stricken pirates, I see. Uh... Speaking in very broad terms, yes, your statement is correct. That's so good of you, Fee. However, as the official supervisor, I believe your talents will be better put to use searching the ship. We need to find Matoya's crystal thingy, and fast! Yeet! <laughs> pick the pirate, Terror of the Inner Seas. No offense, but it's kind of hard to take a guy seriously as the Terror of the Inner Seas when he screams like a little girl. Yar! Yar! Did you hear that? I think that was my scream. You coward! Yar! Sorry, but I got scared. Meanwhile, inside the pirate ship. Did we find it yet? 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 How could this have happened to me, crew? Yeah. I told you they were tricky, but did you listen? No. Nine versus four. That's three to one in our favor. Yeah. Let me tell you, I find your math to be highly Come on, suspect. Come Touch me and I'll die. But how? Yeah. How could these light warriors have defeated and for nine fierce pirates? Oh, technically, Mr. Pirate, sir, we didn't really- No! Yeah! Dang it! Gotta make a climb check to get up there. Uh, blast it all, I failed! Must wait until next turn to retry with a frustration penalty. So anyway, like I was saying, what really defeated your band of pirates was, in fact- Ah! Made it! Ah! Yeah! Man, this ship is big! No! <laughs> Uh, what he was going to say is that we did, indeed, beat your stupid pirates, and that we, therefore, deserve all the experience. Huh. Looks like it's hard to swim with armor. Give my regards to the bottom of the ocean, Sinky. <laughs> Meanwhile, I grow more rich on the tragedy of neutrally induced scurvy. They are suckers. Vic and Garland made a daring escape to the Provoker docks. So, why is it you ran like dogs? Yarr. Are you mad? I'd say vexed. Yarr. Those accursed light warriors defeated your entire pirate crew! Your vicious, vicious pirate crew! Aye, that be true, and that be true. But it wouldn't characterize the crew as being vicious per se, yar. At least, not since their scurvy took their strength away, yar. What? I can't afford real oranges, so they've been eating Cheetos for three, maybe four months now, yar. They be as weak as kittens. But what about the grueling henchman interview process? I hired you guys because a big mean villain like me has to be able to beat up his henchmen, and your pirates were the only guys I could push around. Aye, that was the work of the scurvy, E.I. Under normal circumstances, you would have gone from living to meat in under five seconds, E.I. So I'm not a total badass fueled by relentless evil? Boy Neptune's beard! He'd be only slightly less badass than Kelp. If and it be any consolation to ye, it is evil to beat up on people which is riddled with scurvy. Ah, oh, shucks. You're just saying that to make me feel better. I can tell this is a bad plan. Red Mage from over there. Trust me, this one will work. I mean, it's bound to happen one of these days. Though I hardly find that to be a worthy case for going with this plan. Has it occurred to you that right behind us? They probably heard the whole thing. Nah, this is all out of character. We're cool. Out of... what does that even mean? Shh! It's time! Get in position, guys! Beep, on my mark! Mark! Schwach! The eagle has landed. I repeat, the eagle has landed, Uncle. Black Mage, on my mark! Mark! Go on, Black Mage, get in position and stay our lines. <sighs> fine. However, know this. Your life has just become short and painful. Aha! Uh -huh. Good morning, <laughs> sir slash madam, select appropriate. Touch lovely, slash unseasonal, select one whether we are having a what? Nyaha! <laughs> fighter? Fighter, it's me, Dr. Sodopolis. Can you hear me, Fighter? I'll take that as a yes. Fighter, I have much to tell you, but precious little time in which to tell it. This is of the gravest import. Do you recall that which we spoke of when last I visited you? It's safe to say that your response was a non sequitur and probably food related, isn't it? I thought it was. Regardless, you are the chosen warrior, fighter. It is you who shall be at the forefront of the dark days that imperil your world. You will stand alone against the tide of darkness. You will be as the sword of virtue that pierces the heart of evil. Without you, there is no hope. 
I know my language can be embellished, however, this is a matter upon which the fate of the world resides. There's no need to be rude about it. I can't very well say, Yo, fighter, bust some heads. Oh, you're actually gagging. Sorry, I tend to forget about the physical limitations of you material beings. Hold on, let me slice space-time. It'll be incredibly painful, but it won't have happened by the time I'm through, so don't worry. Yes, I don't fully understand it myself. Previously on 8 Bit Theater Chaos. Yar, you defeated me crew in combat upon the high seas. Me ship be yours now. Tis the law of the sea. Uh, I memorized every handbook concerning the high seas, and there isn't a single passage that gives merit to this sort of exchange. Furthermore, you were docked at the time, so anything on the boat would fall under the civil wars of the city and county of Provoca. Not this alleged lore of the sea. Not to mention the scurvy killed off your pirate way before we did. Quiet, you fool! Uh, what my esteemed colleague meant. Was it the scurvy killed, uh, your fighting spirit? Yes, that sounds reasonable enough. You may rest assured that their actual defeat was a direct result of our actions. She never was the fastest boat, nor the sturdiest, or the prettiest. But she was a good boat, I can tell you that. It breaks me heart to give her to you. Have you heard anything I said? She'll take you to where you need to be going, though. If you need to be going on the sea, that is. Yes, but it's your ship. Imagine trying to sail a ship across a mountain range. Couldn't be done, we understand. Is any of this getting through? It is a matter of logistics. There's just too much mountain in the way. Hey, he wants to give us his ship. I say you let it. I won't even have to write up a scam contract for him. Uh, that's not particularly moral. Pirate boats have treasure. Treasure is bound to have a magic light on it. So does this thing have a deed or a registration or what? <laughs> That armor finally came in handy. Prepare yourself, fighter. I shall cut through reality as you know it and splice a new outcome. One where, you know, you don't drown. This will require a cut of the utmost precision. The margin of error could be best expressed as the width of a few hours. <laughs> that armor finally came in handy. Hey, I'm not dead. Awesome. Another perfectly calculated space-time slice and splice. Now to get back to... Wait a second, I forgot to carry the two, and I'm 10,000 feet up in the air! Oh, dang it. It's been several minutes since the last bubble was broken the surface. Ha! How sweet it is. The only thing spotting is perfect moment is that... Time to look in his direction though. Too busy being happy. Point three seconds later. Bones broken. Wow, what an adventure I had. First I nearly drowned, then I fell out of the sky, and lived to tell the tale. I can't wait to tell Black Mage about it. Organs ruptured. Wherever he is. I hate you so much. You didn't pick up any extra experience, did you? I sure as hell didn't learn anything if that's what you mean. Yeah, close enough. I don't like you, and you don't like me. Now talk. You don't like me? But we don't even know each other. I bet we have a lot in common. Treachery and such. Yar. 
Touche. I was never very good at these long back sack confrontations. RM, you take him. But look out, he's a tough one to crack. Not for long. All right, Vic. What do you do with Matoya's crystal? I don't know what you be talking about. Don't play dumb with me, Sea Dog. Yeah, that's my job. Must use the last ounce of strength to stab from beyond the grave. Okay, let me put it to you this way then. Did you steal Matoya's crystal? No. No or yes? Ah, uh, I but you and uh, damn you, you black ops, mind games. Yes, I stole it, and I'll steal it again given half the chance. I just wanted to feel like a big evil man. Is that really so wrong? Well, yeah. Now quit crying and tell us where the crystal is, big baby. I sold it, I did, to some elfish fellow in Elfland. Aha! Uh -huh. Then let us disembark for Elfland post-haste. Elfland, do you really think that'll be necessary? We must complete the side quest. It's a sacred bond. Yeah, plus we really need the nightmare poison antidote and the crystal is the only way. You don't really have to go to Elfland. Three hours later, halfway across the Aldi Sea, you don't really have to go to Elfland. We heard you the first time. What about our horrible, horrible nightmares, Leaf? I'm sure we get used to them, eventually. Last night I dreamt that napalm demons made me drink a gallon of glass shards soaked in hot sauce which itself was on fire. Me too. Me too. Yeah, me too. And it's settled. We're going to Elfland. Uh, do you guys hear that? Hear what? What do you mean, what? That? Oh, that. Yeah, that's just the horrible fang death from the briny depths of the sea attempting to kill us. Pay it no mind. Gee, is that all? And I thought something was wrong. I wouldn't worry about it. Fang death from the sea is quite routine. Routine? I see. Pretend for a moment that I'm your typical conjurer of dark arts. And as a result, I've got as much business on a seagoing vessel as a pretty unicorn princess. Done. Thank you. Now, wait! Should I be worried, impressed, or insulted that you could so easily imagine you're the pretty unicorn princess? Well, the resemblance is remarkable, actually. Just get over it. Explain in simple terms how Fang Death from the Deaths could ever be routine. Well, first, it's a bit misleading to refer to the Aldi Sea as the Deaths, since it is an extremely shallow body of water. In fact, nordicologists refer to it as the fishing hole of the world. This is also misleading because no one in their right mind would be caught dead fishing in the Aldi. It's so full of pollutants and magical runoff from nation states such as Corneria, Provoca, Elfland, and until recently, Prontera that- Shut up! Get to the Fang Death, or you'll become intimately familiar with Stality Death. There's no need to yell. As I was saying, the Aldi Sea is so full of hazardous materials that its habitants have been... altered. Either through mutation, as in the case of the Clamzilla, or evolution, as in the case of the Land Shark. Land Sharks aren't real. So the denizens of the Aldi Sea consist primarily of dangerous and aggressive beasts, the likes of which God never intended. That thumping you hear is just the sound of those vicious sea mutants thrashing themselves against our hull in a desperate attempt to devour our tasty, nutrient-rich flesh. Our flesh? But that's where I keep my delicious nutrients! Which is precisely the point, I'm afraid. Ah! Jump overboard! This is the only way to save yourself from the sea monsters! Anyway, why is it that you don't seem worried? They may be monsters, but they're sea monsters. What are they gonna do, flop around on deck and suffocate at us threateningly? Fighters and swordsmiths first! Okay, so the sea monsters aren't a direct threat, but it sounds like they're hitting the hull awfully hard. Yes, but as I said, these attacks are routine. Why, they're as much a part of sailing as the water. Ships are designed with these aggressive attacks in mind. We're fine. Oh, well, good. Nonetheless... No! No unless! Undo unless! This is the universe sans unless! Well, I was just thinking, if Bick was an irresponsible captain, he might have skimped on a few things. Like the expensive and frequent repairs that are fairly integral to the hull. You know, collapsing. You can put your arms down. Wait, wait, wait. Let's just get back to these hull repairs. How integral are we talking here? Well, you know how you need MP to cast magic spells? Yeah. No. Well, I'm sure we have nothing to worry about. Vic seemed the responsible sort. I mean, the only fate is faith or loyal. A lot of the pirate crew cheetos for three months because it was cheaper than real food. And since that led directly to the deaths, he was then able to keep all the money Garn paid for his full crew to kill us. Money that would have undoubtedly gone toward the upkeep of his boat had he not insisted upon giving it to us. Why does this sound like something a thief would do? Meanwhile, inside the Provoca Casino... Suckers! 
This is taking entirely too long. Hey, can't talk too much. Quiet time is now. Yeah, but... Quiet. Deploy the rocket boat. I think he's crazy. The stress has clearly gotten the better of him. You do realize that there are no rocket boats. Aren't there, Red Mage? Aren't there? Take, for instance, the following evidence, which I'm sure you will find most compelling. What's <laughs> okay. 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 A minute ago in the ship's cargo hold. I can't believe we're headed to Elfland. I haven't yet completed my mission. I suppose it would have had to come out eventually that I'm Elfland. Lord knows these shoes won't fool me anyway. Elfland is as good a place as any to take me. At least if they react violently there, uh, the city guard will make short work of it. But if my true identity would be known, perhaps I will be able to remain incognito during our stay. After all, they don't need to know who I am, and it may be in their best interest to remain ignorant of the real truth. Ah, uh, the sacrifices I make for the sake of this team. I hope they appreciate what I do for them. What the fuck? It's a real shame that both of our organisations require their members to take oaths of poverty. We really could have used some cash to rent a boat. <laughs> yes, I'm sure they went this way. If you weren't such a slow swimmer, we would have reached them by now. Wait, I see something up ahead. A bright, all-encompassing light. And it's growing. Yeah, ha ha! Not only did I get Garland out of all his gold and kill any pirates before they could have any of it, but I pawned off my derelict ship to them light warriors who are sinking in the middle of the clams and the infested waters of the Alki Sea. It would have been a perfect scam too if I hadn't forgotten to take the booty for the ship. Yar, what's that light? Previously on 8 Bit Theory Chaos. You do realize that there are no rocket boats. Aren't there, Red Mage? Aren't there? Take, for instance, the following evidence, which I'm sure you will find most compelling. But so okay. So okay. Meanwhile, skimming across the LDC at 438 miles an hour. Maybe we should slow down a bit. Thief is right. I don't think we can dock at 400 miles an hour. Especially when you consider our total lack of nautical energy. Nautical smartical. Give me one hour and I'll know enough to sail us into orbit! I don't- ORBIT, I SAY! Look, we don't have an hour for you to memorize the ship's bonus manual. Give me six hours and I'll master time magic. Then we'll have all the time we need. You're not a very good tissue, are you, Ranch? Regardless, the Elvish Kingdom is more than a little isolation here. They may interpret that great speed as an act of aggression. Yeah, we're real scared of elves. I hope they don't prance around with honey dew and frolic amongst the gumdrop trees. But the elves won the Great War. Cornelia yeah, won the Great War too. Cornelia lost that one too. Yeah, well, shut up, ugly. Besides, Elfland's a stupid name. Oh, yes, and Cornelia is the pinnacle of classy sovereign nomenclature, I think. It's a nation named after its primary agricultural product. You could always follow Elfland's lazy and name the country after your people, but I don't think pompous donkey Rimmerland would fit on a t-shirt. So that's how you want to play. Look, we haven't the time for this petty squabbling. The Elven coastal defence system has probably been completed, and it's going to become a major concern for us in the near future. And I don't mean to pry, Thief, but how do you know these things? Despite my best efforts, even my knowledge of the Elfland is quite limited. Well, I used to... back in the day, I... uh... I used to live near there. That's a sufficient reason, isn't it? Meanwhile in Elfland... Well, this is most alarming indeed! Archer! Archer reporting, sir! Prepare the giant cannon! Yes, sir! And may the gods have mercy on our souls! Giant cannon ready on your mark, cannon! Sir! The target will be at the minimum safe distance at the point of impact. Prepare those defences for tidal backlash! Yes, sir! Meanwhile... That's why us, scientifically speaking, dumbasses. What does any of that have to do with us slowing down? Jeez, dude. If I didn't know any better, I'd say you were an elf lover. Uh, no. Why, I hate their ancient and revered culture as much as the next of you. That looks just like my- Hey! Oh, gods, I didn't think they'd be foolish enough to do it, but they've actually done it. They actually built the giant cannon. 
The fools, they have only succeeding in increasing my arrow inventory. Leave it to the elves to go to giant cannons to want one stupid arrow. I don't think you fully understand the principles that work behind the giant cannon. What I understand is that... Wait, the Black Lady's Almanac didn't mention an eclipse. That's no eclipse. That's a suborb to giant strike. And he's homing in on that. What? A lucky arrow? Yes, and if I'm right, you've only seconds to act. I told you to let me master time magic, but no! No one cares yeah. about your idiotic magic scheme right now. Just toss the arrow and pray that you nearly get massive indirect damage instead of being totally obliterated. And lose an arrow for no reason? What if I find a bow later and I wanted to shoot it? I think not. Are you crying? This is not really. I don't mind it so much. As long as you get long enough for me to try to be the absolute cases to get you to the rest of the next Will the Night Warriors escape their squishy doom? Did Thief toss the targeting arrow overboard in time? Oh! The eagle has landed! You mean the giants? Yes. Good. I assume that the targets have been, shall we say, taken care of. Good lord, no sir. That was a direct hit with a 40 ton giant bomb. Why would you order such a devastating strike if you wanted to take care of it? It's just a way of... well, never mind, Archer. Is the city prepared for the tidal wave? Yes sir, Captain. Woo! Though I rather think we may have overestimated its threat. Well, it never hurts to be safe. Archer, what was that racket? I know, Captain, but it came from the woman's barracks. I demand to know what's going on in there. And this time, I'm not looking for the hot elf on elf action answer. But it certainly is an acceptable answer. Oh, fuck. Here, put this on. Hurry, there's no time. Like the door, like the door! Those sounded like men's voices, Captain. We'll see about that. Open this door. I demand to be allowed inside. I want to know what's going on in there, and I want to know right now! Archer, you may rise. However, it would seem that Captain Archer has some explaining to do. Eh, uh, Commander T'Pol, I can explain, really. I'm sure that we can. Let us hope that it's a logical explanation. It's all quite simple, really. Captain just wanted to see what was going on in the lady's barracks. Why am I not surprised? This is the third time this month, Captain. I'm gonna bust you down a private so fast you'll drop three thumbs on the way there! Well, much to Captain Archer's chagrin, the barracks are empty, and my girls are practicing elf food in the courtroom. Impossible! We heard a terrible commotion in here all the way from security station Alpha, and I might add, we heard voices from beyond this door just prior to your arrival. If it is as you say, then we should inspect the barracks for ne'er-do-wells. I'll just unlock the door for you. Run! Ah! I... Ah! Hi, you girls with the others. Why are you wearing casual dress instead of fast dress? And why don't any of you look familiar in the slightest? The answer is quite simple. We're... New! Yeah. New recruits, that's us. Yep. New recruits? Even though, as commander of the Elfet Warrior Brigade, I made no request for additional personnel, have received no prior word for arrival, and have no room for you here in any case? Yes. Well, there's something very strange about them. Someone should keep an eye on these girls for reasons of security. I could not agree more. Therefore, we will need a watchman, unmatched in his knowledge of all things dealing with security of our nation. Someone bold, handsome and daring. It is, for these very stately and non-selfish reasons, that I nominate... Finishing that sentence would be a waste of breath, as my answer is going to be done. Ah, oh, nuts! There's one surefire way to find out the real truth here. Interrogation. What's your names? Uh, our names? I'm Thiefika, this is Fighterina, and Black Major, and... I'm Debra! <laughs> well, those are girls' names, their story checks out, let's go. You four, I expect you to be in full battle dress and down in the courtyard for elf food practice in the next five minutes. Yes ma'am! There is something unusual about those girls, especially the cute one. I hope to see a lot more of her naked, that is. Don't look at me like that. I've always thought Debra was a pretty name. This is trying to ignore Red Mage's transvestite urges and get the hell out of here. I am secure enough in my own sexual identity and orientation that I can ignore your base and inflammatory remarks, Black Mage. In fact, I won't even dignify your infantile state and rigorous months. Besides, I'm not the one who wears a long flowing garment, like some other light warriors I could mention. They are rogues. I can't believe they fell for it. I told you that my disguise skill would be handy. 
that one out from it's kind of funny. Oh yeah, playing dressed up is quick thinking. But I was actually referring to that. I suppose it was a rather brilliant stroke of misdirection, if I do say so myself. He's kind of cute though. Damn it, fighter. We bought ourselves some time. If we can make it to the Black Market District, then I'm sure I can figure out who bought the toys Crystal from Vic. Oh, we'll stroll through the enchanting streets of Elfland's capital. We'll have ever so much fun as we'll whisk away on an adventure that bends space and time and gender roles. No more itty pinchy confining armor for me. Nope, I'm free. I'm flying, Mum, I'm flying. You can't stop me now. What? You try wearing heavy armor all day long. These dresses are quite comfy in comparison. Besides, my ass never looks so good. Hmm. It does have a point. Can we just get out of these dresses? out of this garden and start kidding things that get in our way, please. You might agree to Black Mage. Besides, these heels are killing me. Wait a second, heels? Yeah, they give a plus one to my charisma stat, which is in sore need of boosts. Say that again. Zing. Good luck. After that crap about the targeting hour and the inventory, I'm surprised we got you out of your stat boost you. No, I'm still wearing all my normal stuff under this dress thanks to my girdle. That's to the expense of some of my favorite organs, but it's worth it. Previously on 8 Bit Theater Chaos. I am secure enough in my own sexual identity and orientation that I can ignore your base and inflammatory remarks, Black Mage. In fact, I won't even dignify your infantile statement with a response. Besides, I'm not the one who wears a long flowing garment, like some other light warriors I could mention. They are rogues. <laughs>